Hello and welcome back, dear friends. If you haven't subscribed, consider hitting the subscribe button to grow our community. In today's episode, we're unpacking a huge development in West Africa, Mali's unprecedented exit from ECOWAS. Before we explore this, let's rewind a bit, shall we? In its essence, ECOWAS was formed as a unifying force for socio-economic development in West Africa. Over time, it has become a beacon of hope, promoting stability amid political turbulence. But with recent issues surfacing, the question arises, is ECOWAS still effective? In this scene, we're going to switch gears a bit and hear directly from the public. We've compiled a few clips of public commentary that reflect the sentiment of the West African populace regarding Mali's exit from ECOWAS. Let's listen in. Clip 1. I believe Mali's decision to leave ECOWAS is a wake-up call. It's a signal that ECOWAS needs to do more in addressing the security and political crises in member countries. It's not just about economic integration anymore. Clip 2. Mali's exit is a reflection of the growing disillusionment with ECOWAS. The regional body must take this as a sign to reassess its strategies and become more effective. Clip 3. It's a sad day for West Africa. Mali's exit from ECOWAS signifies a step back from the progress we've made towards unity and stability in the region. It's a loss for both Mali and ECOWAS. These are just a few of the many voices sharing their thoughts and concerns about this development. The common theme seems to be a call to action for ECOWAS to reassess its role and effectiveness. But what were the catalysts that led to this moment? Let's analyze this in the next scene. As we navigate the complex waters of this development, it's important to understand the factors that led to Mali's decision. In this scene, we'll dissect the events leading up to their exit and the role ECOWAS played in it. First, let's look at the security challenges. For years, Mali has grappled with rising extremist violence, which has led to widespread displacement and loss of lives. Despite the presence of international forces, the situation has only worsened. Many in Mali felt that ECOWAS, despite being a regional body, did not offer the necessary support during these challenging times. Next, we have the political crisis. Mali's political landscape has been turbulent, with coups and counter-coups becoming a regular occurrence. The instability reached its peak when ECOWAS imposed sanctions following a military coup further deepening the economic hardships faced by ordinary Malians. These factors combined created a sense of disillusionment with ECOWAS, culminating in Mali's decision to exit the regional body. But the real question remains, what does this mean for the future of ECOWAS and West Africa? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this in the next scene. Now, to the heart of the matter. Mali's exit from ECOWAS shocked not just West Africa, but the world. What inspired this abrupt decision? The answer? Dissatisfaction with ECOWAS's response to regional security and internal political crisis. The ripple effect. Questions about ECOWAS's efficacy are posed, and the call for stronger unity within West Africa is louder than ever. We all know that every decision carries consequences, and Mali's departure from ECOWAS is no different. Economically, Mali may be cut off from beneficial regional trade agreements and development programs. Politically, it potentially weakens ECOWAS's influence in handling security and political challenges. As the region grapples with these repercussions, it's clear that today's decisions will significantly shape the future of West Africa. The question remains, what's ECOWAS's next move? How will they handle this significant curveball thrown their way? A combination of diplomatic negotiation and appeasement, or enforcement of sanctions and increased external pressures, 
only time will tell.